Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Back to the Alex. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, your host for this hour. We're going to be joined in the next segment with Dr. Stanley Monteith. And we're going to talk about a lot of issues, primarily about what's going on with the border, how that's part of a much larger plan for global domination. We're also going to talk about some health issues. But before we get to that, I wanted to cover what's going on in Hong Kong right now. You know, there's just the end of the last week, they had an election. Uh, they had a referendum on democracy. And mainline China, mainland China was not very happy with that. Uh, now, to understand what's going on here, Remember that Hong Kong was under British rule for a very long time. It was a former colony of the uh, British. And when they turned them back to the Chinese, they did this with the understanding that it was going to be set up as what they call a SARS area, a special administrative region of the People's Republic of China. They were going to have their own executive, legislative, and judiciary branches. And they were also going to have their elections. Now, that's what they were voting on. Are they going to have free and open elections? And I think it has an interesting parallel to what happens in America right now. Now, the AP reported Beijing has pledged to allow Hong Kongers to elect their next leader, but, but they balked at letting them nominate their own candidates, <laughs> saying that they need to be vetted by a Beijing-friendly committee. Does that sound familiar? That sounds familiar to me. As somebody who's been watching the political landscape for a long time, that's exactly the system we have here in America. We have this overreaching governance here that is two parties that really are phony opposition, Tweedledee and Tweedledum. They really stand on the same side of most issues, including the collapse of the border including the war on drugs, including the militarized industrial complex, the destruction of our civil liberties on issue after issue after issue. There's no difference between them. Can we get a different candidate? No, they've got to be vetted by the Republican Party and the Democrat Party, just like Beijing has to, Democrat, has to vet the uh, candidates for people in Hong Kong. They said that uh, they're not going to let them nominate their own candidates. And they spoke back against it in a state-run uh, paper in mainland China. The Global Times newspaper said the idea that these people would be able to choose their own candidates was, quote, mincing ludicrous. <laughs> mincing ludicrous. They have a, a way of uh, turning a phrase, I guess. They also called it other things like an illegal farce, and they accused activists of sowing hatred. Now, where have we heard that before? They've done everything except call it racist. Of course, those are always the way that they attack everything. Beijing is only going to allow candidates who love China. Look, if you can't choose who the candidates are, if they rig the system, and our system is every bit as rigged as the system that mainland China wants to put over on the Hong Kong people. If you have to go through and do special ballot access as an independent candidate or as a third party that the main parties never have to do. That's a tremendous burden. Then even if you clear that hurdle, you can't participate in the debates. They even exclude people like Ron Paul and a two-term governor uh, from the debates in the GOP. Then you have the corruption that's associated with the election itself. It's an incredibly corrupt system that we have in America. A lot of people got a glimpse of the dark underbelly of our electoral system in the last cycle when they saw how the Republican Party was rigging and controlling the elections, especially for those that were not outright primaries, but where they had caucuses, because it was much more difficult for them to pretend that uh, the voters weren't voting a particular way. That's the kind of corruption that we have in America. Far more subtle, far more dangerous than just saying you're not going to do that in the public. The Chinese are pretty upfront about it, but we have a much more dangerous group of people running this country. We're going to talk to Dr. Stanley Monteith about them right after the break. Stay with us. Hi. 
Dr. Edward Group. It took me 20 years of searching the globe to find the deposit of the highest purity iodine available. The new Survival Shield X2 is mined from seven to 10,000 feet below the earth in pristine, environmentally clean conditions. The iodine crystals we use are extracted from an ancient 300 million plus year old deposit deep in the earth. It's the strongest nascent iodine on the market today. It delivers 650 micrograms per drop. Experience the new formula. Experience the ancient purity. Shield your family. Survival Shield X2, available now at InfoWarsLife.com. X2 from InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888-253-3139. From the water table, to our soils, to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. General, what do you think about the FBI saying that there's a terror alert on Monday about a potential Fort Hood situation? The police are shoving people, shoving Alex, shoving the crowd. Here we go, folks, I'm being assaulted. Whether it's the radio show, the news websites, documentary films, or the nightly news, InfoWars is the tip of the spear. Is this another false flag stage attack to take our civil liberties and put more homeland security while sticking their hands down on the pants on the streets? It's up to us to set brush fires in the minds of men and women everywhere. And that's what PrisonPlanet.tv is designed to do. If you watch, the Assad regime is going to be blamed or accused of using chemical weapons against the so-called rebels. What we see now is a war against reality. It's a war against the truth. It's more vital than ever that supporters of freedom become members of PrisonPlanet.tv and share their membership with up to 11 friends and family. Visit InfoWarsNews.com today. Become a member, share your membership, and help take the InfoWar to the next level. Crashing through the lies and disinformation, it's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, and I'm going to be joined in just a moment by Dr. Stanley Monteith. Now, of course, he has a program, Radio Liberty. You can find that at RadioLiberty.com. He's written many books, one of them, Brotherhood of Darkness. Uh, Dr. Monteith has been a practicing orthopedic surgeon uh, in Santa Cruz for 35 years. He led the fight against organized medicine in California to address the AIDS ep epidemic as a medical issue rather than a civil rights issue. I think there's some parallels to what's going on at the border with that as well. And he actually won. His public health approach to the HIV epidemic was eventually accepted by the California Medical Association. Dr. Monte, thank you for joining us. Well, it's a pleasure to be with you. I wanted to talk to you about the big picture because there's something happening here with the collapse of the border, with the consolidation, with NAFTA essentially becoming a fact after it's been on the books for 20 years. We heard uh, uh, General Petraeus last week say that, uh, hey, you know, NAFTA has uh, been on the books for 20 years and what comes after America? Well, that's simple. North America. And then we heard essentially the same thing from Nancy Pelosi this last weekend at the border. She said, we need to understand that we have a community here that just happens to have a border running through it. You know, a border that essentially in her mind is really no more than, let's say, the border between uh, Texas and Oklahoma, for example. So they believe that they created a unified uh, North American state just as they're doing this uh, regional consolidation all over the world. And now they're making that a fact, aren't they? There, there's much more to this than meets the eye with just a quote-unquote 
crisis that they see as an opportunity, isn't there, Dr. Monkey? Well, I think people have to be able to see things clearly. And everything is done to keep us confused. And basically, as you look and see what's going on in the world, there's confusion. What's going on in the Middle East? Why, why are all these conflicts over there? And, and why are we financing this ISIS, ISIS, you know, group, the Shia group on one side, I mean, the Sunni group on one side, and we're funding the Shia group on the other. In other words, we're funding both the Shia and the Sunni. It doesn't make any sense. Right. And the same thing is, of course, we're funding the terrorists in Syria, the terrorists in Syria, who are killing Christians. Why would we be funding the terrorists who are killing Christians, raping the Christian women? They've killed over 160, 170,000 uh, civilians there in Syria, and we're funding it. How do you make any sense out of what's going on? How do you make any sense out of what's going on as far as the border is concerned? And all these little children from all over South America and Central America suddenly deciding that on their own, the two-year-olds deciding on their own that they want to come to America so they can get an education. <laughs> well, basically, there is a plan. There is a master plan. It's been around for thousands of years. The plan is to bring about a one-world government, a one-world financial system, and a new one-world religion. That's the plan goes, you can trace it all the way back to Nimrod, and if we had time, we'd go down to Prometheus and Plato and Socrates and Aristotle and certainly Alexander the Great, uh, who died trying to bring about this one-world government. But right now, of course, <clears throat> what we're doing is we're seeing this thing manifested and people don't understand. We talk about what our government is doing, and it is not our government. Basically, we have two governments. We have the, the government <clears throat> that we elect, you know, congressmen, senators, and we have our courts, and we have a president. But we have the real government, uh, and the real government controls both sides. They control the Republicans. They control the Democrats. They rig elections. You cannot get an honest election in America with an electronic voting machine, because any one of them can be fixed. And you never know. The only way you can get an honest election, I said, is with paper ballots, because you never know whether these elections are rigged or not. When we go to the polls every four years, we vote for the candidate of their choice, and we're in the mess we are today. Uh, but what people must understand is there's this very, very small group. There are not very many of them, oh, but they have their people place in the military, and you will never find, for instance, the head of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, who is either not a member of the Council on Foreign Relations or uh, is supposed to be affiliated with them and, and talking to them. And you can go up in your Google account and Google in, you know, tell the chief, chief of the, uh, pardon me, the uh, head of the, uh, um, of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, the Council on Foreign Relations, you'll find the relationship. They control the six major banks. The six major banks control 67% of all the finances in the United States. That's J.P. Morgan Chase, Morgan Stanley, Goldman Sachs, Citigroup, Bank of America, Wells Fargo. They control 67% of all the financial assets, and they all tie into the Council on Foreign Relations, Bilderbergers, Trilateral Commission. And, of course, because they control the wealth, they control the major corporations. And most of the major, hundred major corporations, uh, they certainly buy and sell our judges. And if you don't think for one minute that uh, uh, the current chief justice of the Supreme Court for sale or some of the others are for sale, you're incredibly naive. That's very true. You know, you know judges, but Dr. Monteith, just before the uh, just before you came on, we were talking about the trial balloon that the. Uh, central banks uh, have floated, and this is an organization that uh, uh, represents the central banks. They were talking about how we're getting into a dangerous bubble. I think what they're doing is they're floating out there a trial balloon that we're going to have some kind of an implosion, which very easily they could be the pin that bursts the balloon that they're complaining about. And we've seen that as a technique many times, haven't we? Yes, and I think, you know, of course, I'm but an economist. But I do know some very, very smart people and the people that I really put my confidence in.